something that's always bothered me about how they label like north, south, east, and west on the sun, right? So the left side of the picture here is called the eastern limb. And the right side is called the western limb. So if you have east on the left and west on the right, then north would be on the bottom, south would be on the top. It's just how north, south, east, and west works. So therefore, if everyone's going to be set on calling the left side of the sun the eastern limb, then the northern hemisphere of the sun is on the south. Or on the bottom. <laughs> See, it's confusing. The northern hemisphere is on the bottom. The southern hemisphere is on the top. And here I'll show you the rotation of the sun. You can see it goes from left to right. So it's going from east to west. Right? It's rotating from east to west. So, the, And you can see the earth also rotates the same way. From east to west. Right? So all the planets in the solar system, as far as I know, well, Uranus is on its side, I believe. And Venus rotates backwards, which I'll show you coming up too. But the best way I was told, the easiest way to picture it is take your right hand and like put your hand over your heart. And then the way your fingers are pointing is the way the planets and the sun rotate. So you're going to go from basically your right to your left, like the way your fingers are pointing. So taking that into account then the northern hemisphere of the Earth would then be on the bottom of the Earth, Australia you see there, and the southern hemisphere would be where most of the landmass is on top of the Earth. And this actually makes sense to me since what we call the North Pole is actually the southern pole of the Earth. The reason it's called North is because the north part of the magnet is attracted to it because it's the southern pole. Does that make sense? And the south part of the magnet is attracted to the northern pole, which is on the bottom of the Earth, Antarctica. And here, just to show you, Venus rotates the other way, right? The other way from all the planets. And then I'm going to show you the sun again just to see it's completely opposite. And that's a whole another reason Venus being a comet and just recently captured, you know, it just happened to be captured spinning the opposite direction. I guess it's semantics. It just always kind of grinded my gears that we use the same, we use different designations for Earth and the Sun, even though they're spinning in the same direction. It doesn't doesn't jive with me. Something's wrong there. If you if you persist on calling the left side of the Sun the eastern limb, then you have to call the southern hemisphere of the sun, or the bottom half of the Sun the northern hemisphere. And I get it, the same thing applies on Earth. If you're going to do it on the Sun, then you got to do it on Earth. They're spinning the same direction. So, just just my two thoughts on that. It's always kind of bugged me. Just thought I'd put it out there.